today's video will be the Unify 360 camera. This runs on their Protect software. If you've got the Dream Machine Pro or their UNVRs, and basically this is a internal mainly uh, 360 degree, degree fisheye lens for ceiling mounted, can be wall mounted if wanted, but mainly for ceiling mounted. I'm going to be using this in my carport, which is under cover outside, and it's not really made for that, but I'm gonna risk it to be fair, but it's obviously up to you individually if you want to do the same. So all I've done is taken the outer cellophane off, and so we'll open the box. So initial open. Well packaged. We have the camera itself with the initial kind of flat lens, uh, fairly heavy and chunky like most of the Unified cameras, metal bodied. We've got a similar cable run to the old G3 dome. Uh, with a rubber boot so you've got the option for coming straight out or following round if you are surface mounting it. Initial wobby and a screw hole guide and then we have the fisheye lens so you've got the option of two lenses with this camera and what looks like Yes, it's the tool to take the other lens on and off. To be fair, it's quite good. Keeps the uh, lens nice and clean and protected. The metal plate for if you're sealing, mounting it on a ceiling tile so it doesn't pull through. And then the clip bracket. And then the optional hardware fitting it. So, let's crack on and get this fitted. That's the camera all fitted. Uh, that's with both lenses tried and installed. To be fair, it's the lens is just a case of personal choice. The smaller one, like I've got here, is more vandal resistant to a degree. Uh, but to be fair, I prefer the other one, so I'll be swapping it back. Uh, but it's good to have the option, and at the end of the day, you've got a spare just in case you did have one that got damaged. But it's a fairly good camera. Um, I'm going to try the night vision in a second. And as we can see, night vision LEDs all around the outside to cope with a decent coverage for the infrared. And there's the view with the infrared LEDs on. Now I have got a floodlight pointing towards my van, but even under the cover where it's dark and there's no lights on, it's fairly bright and good for covering something like a carport where it's under shelter, so the camera is safe, but you want to keep an eye on everything around it. Another really good feature is it turns into a PTZ camera because of the fisheye lens and you can de-warp and look around the full 360 degree view, which is quite handy and will make you sick after a while of playing with it.